You're watching 100 FPS. Let's go sit in here. Whoever wins this is gonna get skipped. Hey, what's up, guys? Android FPS here. Got another video for you. I love CSGO. You guys love CSGO. And when you love something, you want to protect it. And so every now and then I think about potential threats to the game and to the scene, and these are the top three things that I think could possibly bring the game down. So the first thing would be throwing. Some of you who may be new to the game, maybe you weren't around when the whole I Buy Power scandal happened. It was pretty devastating, especially for North Americans. Some of our best players decided that it would be expedient or smart to go ahead and bet against themselves against another team. And then they threw it. It was a big scandal when it came out. There was a lot of controversy. There was a lot of denial. And then there was undeniable evidence. And it came out that I bet power were throwing. I'm sure if you haven't heard of it, you at least know the references to it. Now, I think that maybe we, as a community, mistakenly assumed that because this happened, that no one ever throws or no one would ever throw. I would hope that if you're a top tier team going to majors and making lots of money, that you wouldn't really be tempted enough to throw because of all the risk involved. But for people and for teams that are barely making it, that they show up on CSGO Lounge, it's gotta be really tempting. Now if I was on a team and I was tempted to throw for skins, I would probably look at what happened before. Now what was the cause of I Buy Power getting caught? Honestly, it was stupidity. They talked. They talked to Shazam, they talked to their girlfriends, and then they told so-and-so, and then it got out. If they hadn't talked, they probably would have got away with it. Granted, Valve is probably more diligent in their searching, but you know what? It never would have came to light unless it was people like Richard Lewis who were actively seeking. And it wasn't until they had undeniable evidence that they actually brought the band hammer down on the team. So this is a scenario that I could see very likely. I wouldn't be surprised if teams, especially smaller teams, haven't thrown for skins. And um, I hope it doesn't happen and I hope I'm wrong. The second thing would also be related to skins, but this would be much more devastating than teams throwing. This would be the FBI. And some of you may recall about maybe five or six years ago, this was back when poker was huge. Texas Hold'em, everybody's playing it. People are playing online. I used to play on full tilt poker and I would play for you know a few bucks here and there it was a lot of fun I didn't win a lot but I didn't lose a lot either but I just remember that one day when the FBI came out and they seized all the assets of these companies you have poker stars and full tilt and whatever money that you had was seized was frozen and that was that and the thing is people that were playing at the time they never really imagined that this could happen. I think that there's an ignorance and an arrogance of the now. And you say, well, because right now it's happening, they're not doing anything, so it must be okay. I'm afraid that this may happen with Counter-Strike as well. There was a guy, he's called the Video Game Attorney, and he's done a lot of good work helping small companies with video games and their legal issues. And he wrote some things on Reddit, and you may have seen it. Somebody asked him, how are online gambling sites for games like CSGO not being taken down? I'm not complaining, but I know there's many people under 21 playing them. And he wrote, they will. And the owners will be hit hard. I get at least two people a week message me that they found a gambling loophole to start similar websites. They didn't. And they're usually scumbags. I have no pity towards them when they get theirs. Now, just because this guy's an attorney and he's done good things doesn't mean he's right obviously he could be talking out of his ass at the same time when you have incidents like what happened with the poker stars and now what you're having with the draft kings and everything like that the thing is it seems like the government doesn't like it when people brazenly break the law and make a ton of money without giving tax dollars and that's just anecdotally but i've seen it again and again Right, they don't want you to make a lot of money and not give some to them, all right? And that's what's happening with Counter-Strike. There are people that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions. I know Valve is making millions of dollars based on skins and based on gambling. And if they were to crack down on it somehow, it would just stop 
everything. Now, I'm not saying that people wouldn't play the game or they wouldn't watch matches, but it would be a devastating blow. Can you imagine people that have thousands and thousands of dollars in their inventory suddenly not able to trade? I wouldn't put it past the government to freeze all the assets of Counter-Strike or Steam or Dota so that people can't trade or buy or sell. I don't, I'm not saying that that would be easy to do, but I'm not saying that it's impossible either. So hopefully I'm wrong on this one as well, because I have skins, I don't want to lose the value for it. People will always find a way. I can hear what people are saying right now. People will always find a way. They'll use third party sites, they'll, they'll do it underground, just like with drugs, sure. But they can go after Valve, which is a US company, and they can greatly diminish their means of making money. And the third, final, and most devastating thing that could happen to the CSGO scene is hacking. This is similar to the throwing scandal and the fact that we went through a big event and it was publicized and it was shameful and everybody just assumes that that's that. There were a couple people that got banned. It was Kaylee, it was Emilio, we got VAC banned. They're professionals and it was over. And then there was the whole flush of hacking scandal. He was never charged formally and there was never any concrete evidence that he was hacking. However, there was some very suspicious behavior, and there is still some to this day with the cash glitch. I would rather assume somebody's innocent until they're proven guilty, right? And I'll give the same benefit of the doubt to Flusha and the rest of the guys on Fnatic. But I'm saying if, if by chance, a dominant team like Fnatic if it came out that they were hacking and were hacking this whole time that would be so unbelievably devastating to the community now I'm going to MLG Columbus by the way and I've taken time off work I am spending tons of money to get there for tickets for lodging and there are so many people who have done the same People have called off work because of these events. People have invested money in going to the events or betting on the, on the matches. And if it came out that one of the top players this whole time has been hacking, it would be like the Tour de France with Lance Armstrong. When he got caught cheating, it would just kill the sport. Sponsorships were gone. Faith in the sport itself was gone. It came out that a ton of people were cheating. This is something that I, I do fear for. And when you have that much pressure, you know, we as fans and as casual gamers, we can't really understand the extent to which the pressure pushes on you. The fact that you have millions of people watching you and you have your country counting on you, you have millions of dollars betting on it, your sponsorships, your management, your family and friends, your whole life's value is tied up in this game. And then somebody says, hey, here's a little something for you. You can just inject it into your mouse. Nobody will know. It's got to be awfully tempting. And I'm not saying that I know anybody's cheating, but I am saying it wouldn't surprise me if eventually it came out that there were some pros that were hacking. Anyway, guys, those are my three things that I'm afraid that could really hurt Counter-Strike and actually in online games in general. So uh, if you guys have any in mind yourselves, let me know. Go ahead, write it down in the comments what other things you're afraid that could hurt the scene. And if you disagree with me or anything, just um, go kill yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you also write down what what you think I'm wrong about and uh, maybe we'll have a discussion about it um, but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys